hi everyone and this is a very very important video for you guys i can't tell you how many questions i get on a daily basis about service and when are they scheduled and what is covered under that so i thought today i will try to make a video which is easy for you to understand on how these surveys are scheduled for the ships so we'll talk about periodical surveys annual surveys docking surveys in water surveys and special surveys and in doing so i will try to explain to you when are they scheduled what is covered under them and you can see the specific time periods using the depiction that i have used in this video please watch the video till the end uh, so to start off with if you don't know periodical surveys basically they refer to uh, the surveys that are scheduled or scheduled at regular periods so because the vessel has to maintain the assigned class and that's why it is examined by the uh, classification society surveys at regular periods now the major hull items uh, are examined and i will tell you exactly what are examined for each survey but we'll start with annual survey so periodical surveys basically refer to annual docking in water and special surveys so what is annual surveys so annual surveys uh, are required uh, at intervals of approximately one year so let's say let's take an example that the ship was built in 2007 then every anniversary every year so 2008 2009 2010 11 12 so on and so forth every year the ship will be subjected to annual survey so these annual surveys are where practicable held concurrently with statutory annual or other load line surveys so at the survey the surveyor will examine the condition of all closing appliances covered by the conditions of assignment of minimum freeboard the freeboard marks the auxiliary steering gear watertight doors watertight bulkheads uh, fire protection and the general condition of the vessel is also assessed the anchors the cables are subjected to where possible at these annual surveys and then dry bulk cargo hold ships or dry bulk cargo ships are subjected to an inspection of a forward and aft cargo hold so what is intermediate survey then so now that you know what are annual surveys which are held every year intermediate surveys so they are held instead of the second or the third annual survey so you can see i have highlighted here so the first annual survey would have been in 2008 for a ship built in 2007 so instead of the second or the third annual survey which would have scheduled in 2009 and 10 we can have an intermediate survey in the middle all right so that saves the company some time and effort and money as well so in addition to all the requirements of the annual survey in the intermediate survey particular attention is paid to cargo holds in vessels over 15 years of age and the operating systems of tankers chemical carriers and liquefied gas tankers all right now let's look at docking surveys so now what are docking surveys now you probably know that docking surveys means refers to the dry dock where the ships are taken and brought out of water and uh, the sur survey of the external items are carried out so docking surveys are carried out at intervals not exceeding two and a half years so you can see if a ship was built in 2007 then between 2009 and 10 when the second and half anniversary falls you carry it out so then the other one will be scheduled at the fifth anniversary which will be 2012 right and then again two and a half years and then again five years so on and so forth so at the dry docking survey particular attention will be paid to the shell plating stern frame rudders external and thorough hull fittings and all parts of the hull particularly liable to corrosion and chafing and any kind of unfairness in the bottom so you know that it's given a thorough scrubbing and thorough uh, washing and the barnacles are removed and the ship's hull is painted uh, so that is what is carried out in the docking survey so what is an in-water survey now because dry dock costs the company a lot of money every time the ship goes in the ship is out of commission it's not trading it's not doing any business and moreover it's sitting in the dry dock it's costing a company a lot of money so what happens is the classification society says that they will accept an in-water survey instead of any one of the two dry dockings required in the five year period so if you have a dry dock is scheduled at the two and half anniversary and the fifth anniversary as you see on your screen so instead of one of them you can have an in water survey so it can be for example here you can have it at the two and a half the second and half anniversary or you can have it on the 
fifth anniversary. It's up to you. But one of those two surveys, instead of going to the dry dock and putting the ship completely out of business and costing the company extra money, you can actually use in-water survey. So the in-water survey will provide the information normally obtained for the docking survey. So generally consideration is only given to an in-water survey where a very suitable high resistance paint has been applied to the underwater hull. So then you know that it will not easily wear off in two and a half or five years. So normally many companies that do it at the two and a half year anniversary and then they go for a major, um, major overhaul, major maintenance at the fifth anniversary. So that is what the in-water survey is all about. So now let's look at special survey. What are special surveys? Now, mostly ships classified uh, under any classification society are special or subjected to special surveys. Now, these surveys become due at five year intervals. So as you can see here, the fifth year and the 10th year in this case will have a special survey. So every five years. So the first five years from the date of build or date of special survey for classification and thereafter five years from the date of the previous special survey. That is how it is carried out. Right, so special surveys may be carried out over an extended period, commencing not before the fourth anniversary after building or previous special survey, but must be completed by the fifth anniversary. So every five years, so five, 10, 15, 20, like that. Hopefully ships don't go beyond 20 years these days. So they are, that's why they are divided into four ship age groups. So five years old, 10 years old, 15 and 20 years. Right, if it goes beyond that, of course, then there's a special survey there as well. So in each case, the amount of inspection required increases and more material is removed so that the condition of the bare steel may be assessed. So of course, uh, it becomes stricter and stricter as the ships get old. So surveyor is allowed to ascertain by drilling or other approved means the thickness of the material. The non-destructive methods such as ultrasonics are also available. Uh, special survey requirements are prescribed for oil tankers, dry bulk carriers, chemical carriers, liquefied gas carriers. So where classification uh, is required for a ship not built under the supervision of the society surveys, details of the main scantlings and arrangements of the actual ship are then subjected to the society for approval. So that way the surveyor knows exactly what is the condition of the steel or the material used to build the ship. Because as the ship gets older, of course, you know, there is rust. The, the structural integrity is compromised slowly unless it is of course maintained very well so the surveyors are very worried that old ships going out into the sea may lead to some kind of accident especially long bulk carriers they can even break into halves right so that is why as the ships will get older your special service will become stricter and stricter so i hope that you understood when these surveys are scheduled what is inspected and what are the difference between each of the surveys i try to simplify it because i do get a lot of questions about this and they always say that you know i have not covered it um, or i have not explained it very simply so i've tried to make this video in a simple way uh, still if you have any comments queries or questions or you want to add something to it or you disagree with my video please put it in the comment section below happy to learn from you guys as well um, don't claim myself to be an expert in every topic um, but thank you for watching guys like comment share subscribe and if you want to become members you can become members as well it's not much it's just ten dollars uh, a month so that's nothing so you can get lots and lots of extra videos that way bye for now guys and i will see you soon with my next video